Kathleen, uh, for those of us in the past who have been thrown the, uh, the monkey suit and told to put it on and uh, for overwater ops and so forth, there's not generally been a whole lot of knowledge about the technology represented in an exposure suit uh, for something that obviously is critical in the event of an emergency. If you would, give us a bit of a primer on the technology involved in this kind of protection system. Unlike the suits that are normally seen in the industry, these are not one size fit all uh, anti-exposure suits. These suits are semi-custom. When a customer contacts us, we supply them with a sizing chart. They're required to take their personal measurements and provide them to us. At that point, we manufacture the suit to their sizing specifications, including leg length, sock size, and general torso size. When the suit is received, the individual is then required to determine whether this basic sizing of the cuffs and the neck fit them properly or they are sized by the customer himself by trimming these rings. The material of the anti-exposure suit is a breathable flame retardant material with a unique zipper system that we refer to as our U-zip it. It allows you to get into the, and out of the suit easily. You can do it without help from another individual. You're able to pull and uh, tighten it on the side, close it on the side, unlike some of the other styles that have a zipper across the shoulder or in some other location. The zipper itself sits in the lower part of your back, so when you're sitting in your aircraft, it bends and it's not digging into your back. And I would assume this provides some ventilation for those periods of times when you'd normally be cooking in a suit that's all zipped up, you can zip it down a little bit and let it breathe? It depends uh, what organization you're a part of, but in general you're not supposed to unzip okay. your, your anti-exposure suit at any time, but this allows you to at least, when you're not flying, unzip it. It has internal suspenders. You can walk around with the top off and cool off before and after a flight. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. What kind of materials are uh, represented in a product like this? How, how do you get something that's both flame retardant as well as the, uh, having the ability to protect you? Well, this is a trilaminate. It's a Nomex Gore-Tex uh, trilaminate suit. It gives that breathability so it can uh, uh, pull away the moisture and keep the, the user dry mm -hmm. as well as comfortable. Uh, and then the outer fabric is the Nomex, so if there were a flash fire in the cockpit, they would be safe with that. And what that does is it helps, as you're flying in the aircraft, provide the comfort, but also keep the person dry, avoid the perspiration, because once they're in water, any kind of moisture will diminish your body core temperature at a faster rate. So by keeping them dry, that's where you're going to increase the survivability in the cold water. Now, what kind of protection does, uh, if you can quantify it, does a suit like this offer you in a number of uh, regimes? Okay, as far as the cold water protection, uh, this suit is made to keep you dry. What you wear underneath it is what's going to build the, the thermal protection. Gotcha. And we, uh, we're a strong believer in the layering system. And by having the various layers, that trapped air helps build your thermal protection. We have had independent testing at Core Group up in Canada. The magic number is 0 0.07. Five clo as far as survivability rates, ours exceeded over 1.2, and that was with using the standard layering system. Uh, and so, uh, as far as water temperatures, 50, de 50 degrees and below, you're looking at um, over 10 hours. It's a remarkable increase in survivability by staying dry and then using this thermal layering system. And in regards to flame suppression. They use the pyroman, they go through flame testing, they do the testing on, on behalf of the manufacturers of the dry suits. They just go through specific mil spec testing to make sure that they pass various types of flame. 
Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Where are these suits generally used? What's the customer base like? How are they, how are they utilized? Well, certainly our biggest customer has been the military. Uh, Switlik has been the most dominant supplier to the U.S. military for over 30 years. But certainly anybody uh, offshore oil, any kind of cold water, I mean, it could be something like with the Coast Guard, they wear them every day in certain parts of the world every day, but in other parts, even in Florida, there are times where they have to wear dry suits because the water temps are such that they would not be able to last very long. Uh, Switlik has quite a history. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, history of the company? A Switlik parachute company was founded in 1920, so we're now 90 years in the business. It's a family business in the third generation. The company became most famous for manufacturing parachutes during the Second World War and even in the beginning of Vietnam. We've since moved on to a focus on safety and survival products, mainly inflatables, life rafts, life vests. We're the largest supplier to the commercial airlines of airline life vests. And we also manufacture rafts for U.S. Coast Guard inspected vessels and recreational marine. And uh, we do have a one-man raft that fits nicely into the helicopter market, which we're also displaying here at HAI. Thank you so much for both of you.